Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and I do apologize that this video does not have face cam. I know that most of my videos have face cam now, but I do again apologize that this one does not. Face cam as a regular thing will return in the coming videos, especially the Let's Plays. Now, moving on into this particular video. Now, I know that Turn 10 and uh, everybody over at Forza has been very, uh, very interested in the whole SUV thing as of the last few games, and there's a, that's actually a reason why I am driving the Lamborghini urus right now with the drift steering rack so you guys can go like so you can go absolutely nuts with the uh with the steering angle but this video is about forza horizon 4 and about vehicles that uh they shouldn't add into the game and uh there may be a couple on this list that um uh, Maybe a couple on this list that I... I don't know. There's a couple on this list that I like, and there's a couple on this list that I would actually not be mad if they added into the game, but there's also a couple on this list that I think do not need to be there. So, let's start with the very first one, the Pontiac Aztec. Now, this car was actually in Forza Motorsport 6, and as ugly and hideous as it is, I... I well... <sighs> I don't know. I as ugly and hideous as it is, I I still I still don't want it in Horizon 4. I mean, I know that it would be hilarious, but I still eh, it's like look at that face. It's disgusting. Why would you want that? Why would you want to look at it? And I know that I'm probably going to upset some people by by the end of this video. Um but at the same time, this car, by putting some sort of turbo V8 in it, you could make it fun, but that still wouldn't make it fun to look at. Now, another one that I'm actually kind of on the fence about is the Nissan Juke. And the picture I'm showing you here is kind of a wild, you know, a wild version of the Juke. And I know that we've had the Juke on and off in Forza before, and it's one of those cars that I could very much take or leave. I don't really, I don't really care that it's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really care that it's there, and it's one of those cars where I'm like, eh... I don't know about that, you know, I really don't know about that, and I think, I, I think by looking at the juke, it's one of those cars where you just really go, eh, just eh. Now, next up on this list is a car that I actually do really want in the game. That's the Isuzu Vehicross. The Isuzu Vehicross, no matter what your opinions are of it, I know a lot of people think it's ugly. I think it's freaking cool. I think it belongs in Horizon 4, and I would love to see it in a DLC, like in a car pack or something like that. If they're looking for vehicle suggestions, freaking throw the Vehicross on there, because that thing is so cool. It's so niche. It's so weird looking. It's so oddball, and I think because of its oddballness and weirdness, it belongs in the freaking game. Now, I know that, I know I started this list with, with a couple of cars that I did not not like because really and truly this list is about cars that don't need to be in uh, Horizon 4 but uh, but that is one of those one of those rare occasions that I'll throw in there that I do think should be in the game no not necessarily at launch but at some point I would definitely not mind driving an Isuzu V across around and especially doing like some sort of crazy insane build uh, on a V across now this next car <laughs> This next car, considering the fact that we're going to, well, I almost said sunny England, but that doesn't really work. It's normally, normally, ra from what I've heard, it's rainy and gloomy there. However, it's funny because, like, almost every time I've been to the UK, it's actually been nice out. But, like, apparently, according to people that live there, those were the exception days. And, like, all the rest of the time, it's, like, gloomy and wet outside. So, regardless, the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet. That car is a abomination. It is an absolute abomination. I don't understand why it exists. And it's, to my knowledge, still in production today. Why? It has literally no point in being in production. And it is no it has no point in actually even, in my opinion, existing. Like, what is the every time I see one, and I do see them driving around occasionally, I see I say, what is the target market? For a SUV with a removable top like that, but not when I say removable top, not like a removable top like a Jeep. You, you gotta remember, this is it like, it's like they took a Versa and lifted it, lengthened it, and then added a convertible top. It's just so freakishly weird and slow and terrible looking. Like, you look at it and you're like, 
I need to get my brain adjusted because I'm not comprehending what I'm looking at. And But then again, you remember that then you think about it for a minute and you remember that, no, you don't need to get your brain adjusted. You're just looking at it and realizing that it's hideous. And then you go, uh, why am I looking at this? <laughs> Genuinely, why am I looking at this? But like I said, I'm sure there's some people out there that like it. And I'm sure also at the same time that uh, by the end of this video, I definitely won't have, uh, I will definitely have upset maybe a couple people here and there. But the last vehicle in this top five, the last vehicle in this top five is something that really does not need to be in the game. It doesn't need to be in the game under any circumstances. It doesn't need to be in the game whatsoever. It does not need to be in Forza Horizon 4 by any stretch of the imagination. Nonetheless, I need it, and I need it in the game now because there is something so absolutely insanely, like, the redneck levels are off the charts. The redneck levels are absolutely off the charts, but you know what? That doesn't change the fact of how freaking cool this thing is, and boom, there it is. I, again, I, this thing belongs more in Mud Runner than it does in Forza, but would you just freaking look at that? Like, I get... It's the most impractical thing, literally, to ever drive the face of the earth. And yet, and yet, I think it would be the one most hilarious vehicle that could ever be in a Forza Horizon game. One, because it wouldn't fit anywhere. Two, because it would upset everybody uh, for being, like, the biggest troll vehicle. And three, because you literally couldn't race it. I think you would probably crash the game. But if you have anything you want to add to this list, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video that was kind of a little bit more uh, for fun, then don't forget to uh, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Like the video, and I'll see you guys later.